but that was only my opinion because it's my personal uh, taste about cars. So this guy is in 500 SL and must be one of the later ones because this one has already the airbag steering wheel. So take a look at this guys. And it has a more modern steering wheel that is more likely from the time when this one it was built. Ah, you can see here 86 stands there. Most probably it's meaning that the car is built in 86. But of course it's not 100% certain because uh, yeah, you can get a license plate just by your random wish or whatever. So I'm a, at my car stands uh, 75 and my car is not from 75 because 75 is my age, or not my age, my first year. So guys, let's continue here. Already has the Chrome Star. Oh, someone is leaving. So I need to give away. Ah, it's just only getting more to here. So this is the A124. And guys, oh. Here's the R107. There's still more coming. See me like the full now about the parking lot. This here's an SR Roadster R129. There's also another one. Here's an W126. Beautiful. This here is most probably also a W108, but I can only tell you when I'm seeing when I've seen the area and it here's a wonderful baby bands W201 in red metallic. Beautiful paint. And here guys is an E-Class Estate, the T-Model as it's called in terms of Mercedes-Benz. It's an S124. And the S stands just for station wagon. So it's not the S-Class, it's an E-Class, guys. Most likely an E320. And here's the baby bands. 190E or 190D could be even a diesel because the exhaust is the exhaust tip is looking a little bit dark but well I could be wrong about that and here 250 SE guys so it's also a W108 and here guys this is the S class I think it's even the uh, SEL <laughs> Most probably because also it's standing on the license plate SEL, but the S stands for Stuttgart. That could be in really an SEL because it's looking like the door is wider than normally. So this must be long wheel a long wheelbase. So that's what the L is meaning, long wheelbase. While the other one is just the SE or only S. Yeah. It's really looking like the SEL guys. And well, I'm also still owing you the rear end of the SLs here. It's an SL edition, by the way. Also, beautiful paint. Blue. L500 and it's even having the most modern interior that I'm knowing from this one here. Let's take a look here guys. This car was also built for quite a long time. That's L500 guys. And here's the other one. <laughs> Guys, it's absolutely amazing to see how many cars are here. 
because I've not expected there will be so many because first we only had this just this line here and now everything is full even there <laughs> but guys here are more cars and this is just a Thursday evening just after work guys um, yeah anyway guys here this is an S uh, SL Roadster uh, is it an R230? No, I'm thinking it's maybe an S and uh, SL230. Maybe I can see it soon because I will just uh, run around or just walk around. This one here is an SLK, an R170. It stands compressor on this side. Very popular roadster in the 90s. When it came out, it was really one of the cars that everyone wanted to have as same as the Porsche Boxster back then and here's a very nice looking Stroke 8 in black um, back in the old days black was actually used for taxis in Germany so let's see what it is, what it is. it's in 200 200 means it's in W115 because of the four cylinder engine the six cylinder had the term the model type uh, W115 this is an R107 and a 107T not sure what it is, I already know it's a compressor it has lovely AMG wheels and this is the SL not sure if the 230 is meaning it's an SL 230 or maybe it's a W R 230 I will figure it out at least I'm trying absolutely amazing guys BMW 2002 Turbo and it's just uh, written uh, in this way because uh, so whenever you're having this car in the mirror so you already know oh oops that's not the weak O2 series it's not in 1500 or so it's the turbo guys amazing and here's a lovely coupe S-class coupe beautiful absolutely beautiful and here wow I'm not knowing what uh, type it is but it's also really a wow car very cool coupe from BMW absolutely loving this detail here about the uh, BMW logo it is an 3.0 CS yes yes it is just take a look here uh, well, when I'm just starting about filming the rear ends then <laughs> just walking up this way again ah, 280 SE very popular and ever you see a coupe of them then it's most likely 280 SE but of course I've also seen today some 250s oh it's again windy guys yeah see that BMW 20, uh, 200, uh, 2002 Turbo and guys here's a wonderful R107 I'm trying to film everything what I can later I have to <laughs> recharge the battery because on Saturday I need it again because then I'm going to the Italian car meeting except if the weather is bad but most likely it should be alright now again also really a beautiful car the SL Roadster R107 the hardtop no the hardtop, not the hardtop, I mean the coupe the coupe was called the C107 well R129 as we are seeing quite often here this guy is um, 
no it's not the C, it's an W123 because it's the saloon or Saturn depending on how you're calling it and here this is a 124 but not of Mercedes and it's not even a Fiat, this guy is, is the Shiguli, the Lada or afterwards or VAZ Shiguli and here is a wonderful coupe of the E-Class So the C124 guys A friend of mine is also having this one Greetings to Tilo I hope I will see you again at one of these meetings And here the Lada also very cool to see this one here I've not seen this particular one before I mean uh, with this uh, rooftop here I and mean, of course I've seen some Shiguli is this in 2101 as it stands there the license plate and here the C uh, no, W123 and we'll just short look about the uh, SL500 well, only short one because well, we have plenty of these ones and here is a lovely E30 Cabriolet pre-facelift another R129 but well guys here the E30 what a really beautiful car and here guys Triumph Spitfire and left beside, as I told you, Magnum is also here. There's a Ferrari 328 GTS. So the S stands for Spider because it has the uh, well the Targa top. Oh, beautiful with these orange letters, guys. Yeah. Das Winter rechts ist was ganz seltenes. Ja, wie gleich? Ein VW und Brasilianische. Brasilianische, ich glaube, das habe ich auch schon mal gesehen. Das ist normal, aber ich nicht in Deutschland. Schau ich gleich. Danke. So, guys, here is still Magnum's car. And I was just getting told that uh, just at the other end of this parking lot is a Brazilian car. I will just go to check that out. But right now, still the Ferrari 328 GTS, guys. Really a beautiful car. Well, this is seeming to be already the facelift, so not the one from uh, Magnum, but yeah, anyway, it's really amazing. This guy is the Triumph Spitfire. Oh. And then I was just checking out the Brazilian car. If it's the Volkswagen in Brazil, then it's maybe looking quite similar to the. Uh, 412 that we have seen before, but a lot smaller. <laughs> oh, and it's even better. This is the SP2, guys. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. And here's also a big fat greeting to Marcos from Brazil of the channel 428 garage. He's always showing some cool die-cast model cars, most likely from Hot Wheels, but of course also from Matchbox, Turning Lightning and so on. Most likely in the scale 1 to 64. Oh, but take a look at this guys. This is really a sexy body from Volkswagen. What a beauty guys. Absolutely beautiful car. Never built in Germany. This was only produced in Brazil. And this one is, of course, then imported from Brazil. VW SP2. Ah, what a beauty, guys. <laughs> 